All right. Well, let's just jump into this first story. We got this from Fox News. Atlanta cop city anarchy sees at least 35 agitators detained, part of an international group, suspects from France, Canada, and out of Georgia among those arrested in significant escalation at Atlanta's police and fire training facility. We got a video here from Andy No on YouTube, which I will play just a portion of so you can see just some of the scale of this degree of extremism. This is a government facility. There's, there's what looks like power lines, construction equipment, and hordes of people running in and ransacking things. Now, of course, you've got many on the left trying to claim that it's not organized, it's just a demonstration, it was all impromptu, blah, 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 but that is absolutely not true. You have people who have been occupying this location for years. You have an individual who was killed by cops after shooting a cop, people who have burned down houses, one private uh, citizen had his truck set on fire and flipped over. These are extremists who have been occupying this area for some time. They brought in guns from across state lines. Believe it or not. I know. I know. Shocking, isn't it? And they organized this. They are ransacking another government facility. They are funded. This is look at these videos. I mean, some of this is crazy. Huge groups of people and they're calling it. They're calling it a demonstration. I think Fox News even calls it this. They say a group of agitators left the nearby South River Music Festival around 530 p.m and descended on the construction site of the proposed Atlantic, Atlanta Public Safety Training Center to conduct a coordinated attack on the construction equipment and police officers. All right, here's the issue. Here's why I won't call it a demonstration. Here's why I'll say it's organized. Here's why I won't say these people were arrested. You see what Fox News says? 35 detained? I guess detained is better than arrested. An arrest is when like a hippie marches in the middle of the street waving a little flag or sign and they say, sir, you are obstructing a roadway. And he says, we got to end the war. And they're like, if you don't leave the road, you're getting arrested. And he says, I refuse. They arrest him, bring him to the station. He gets a slap on the wrist. They let him go. That's an arrest. When you have outside forces from foreign countries and people coming from across the, across the United States under a shared banner, flying a flag of an active organization with websites to recruit people receiving funding who has previously been engaged in insurgency and terror attacks like that guy in Washington who said he was Antifa and firebombed an ICE facility. I am sick of them. Fox News, everybody constantly downplaying it and being like, no, 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 everything's fine. Because I will say this before we get into the bigger conversation. You know, I have to talk about civil war and I have to wonder, maybe there won't be a civil war. <laughs> Because that would require more than one faction. And if the left right now is able to engage in this degree of terrorism, and it's terrorism, and even Fox News is like they're just being detained because they're agitators, then there is no opposition. Then all they are is, well, we have now talked down the violent extremism of an ideological fringe faction to the point where it's a protest. That's acceptance. So what happens? Well, the police won't arrest these people. You've got drag shows for children, adult performers dancing for kids. The cops won't arrest those people any, uh, at all. It seems like, whether you want to accept it or not, they've won already. And so what may be coming is not going to be a civil war, but a culture revolution, in which case we will see more of this. We've got a bunch of stories in this regard we could talk about as well. California is imposing a new rule that if movies are not woke, they will lose tax benefits. It is being enshrined in law. So anyway... Now that I've ranted a little bit, I don't know if y'all agree with me, but uh, what do you think? Am I am I off? Am I, am I, am I, have, I, have I lost it? No, I think the upside of this situation, if you could really call it an upside, is that the people were arrested. 35 of people were arrested. 23 have been charged thus far as of four hours ago or something like that. So there has been captured. some response. Yes, captured and, and uh, on their way to being indicted, perhaps. What I think about the framing is... Renditioned. Yes, let them be re renditioned. <laughs> With due no, haste. I'm, I'm kidding about the um, renditioning. The, due you, you have a gathering. And then if a gathering starts gets gets directed, you, they might turn into a protest. It's still a form of gathering, a protest protest. Then if the protest gets violent, it becomes a riot. It's still a form of protest and it's and, still a gathering. And, and then, but it's to call a riot. So and, you have and, to and, defer and, to the most violent aspect of the gathering and call it that. You are correct. And then if it's been two years of an organized group in this one area and they've shot a police officer, putting them in the hospital and they have guns and explosives and Molotov cocktails, then they recruit more people under a shared banner from across the country and other countries to descend on a government facility to firebomb equipment and attack police officers. 
enforcers of, of law and, and, and uh, agents of the government, I think you are well past riot. It's a and, cultural Yeah, revolution. this was an attack. They attacked the compound. Right, it's a terror attack. And they were arrested justly. Sorry, Phil, what did you say? That's Let's right. call it an offensive. There you go. It was a, it staged was staged offensive. Yes. Yeah, it was a staged offensive. It's, yeah. a, it's a faction of violent extremists who are organized international with allies, weapons, explosives, using lethal force to destroy a government facility. We're, we're, in, the, we're in the beginning phases of a cultural revolution in the United States, similar to the one that happened in China. I'll I say think, though, I don't shout think, out I think the we're cops. at the end of the beginning phase. The beginning phase was weird sure. wokeness and sure. movement. Movies having you know a plethora of interracial you know gay sex scenes. Oh yeah, nine eleven getting but, us all to hate each no, other. No, 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 nine eleven. No, but I'm, I'm going to finish that it. thought. It's a long but game. I, need, bro. I, I would like to finish what I was saying because I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want that getting cut off. What I'm saying is California enforcing by law now that you have to have these ethnic quotas and gender quotas. I don't care if a movie is going to have you know interracial gay dating or whatever. People can make whatever movies they want. I'm talking about the enshrining in law of it. Yeah, I was interested in getting some funding one time and I was looking up government funding and stuff like that for the arts. And I noticed that there was these requirements that was your either L part of the LGBT community, a person of color, all the whole list, you know, whatever that whole list is, and you can get some funding. But nowhere in there was anything that I qualified for, like being a white, cis, straight woman. Cis, what does that mean? <laughs> that sounds like a slur. I, yeah, it is. It's, it is, other, it's it is othering. It's othering people. It actually yeah. is considered a slur. Yeah. yeah, by a lot of people. But I just found it interesting. They use it like, as a slur too. Yeah, they like, do. Uh, the, the like you yeah, because I've been attacked on you know social media where they're just like you cis, you right. cis, and it's like very like antagonizing. It's it's insulting, but. I'm just making that point where like I was looking for funding and how can I get out there and make some arts and do do something and get some government funding and I I found that there was nowhere for me to get funding. Cultural That's not revolution. Surprising. Yeah, I I completely think that we're in the middle of a cultural revolution. I think that and unless we have a concerted effort by your average person to push back on these uh, these type of well, first of all, these activities you have to have people that are going to say, "Look, we want law enforcement to do something about this." Um, and so far, I don't think the population in the U.S. has really decided that they're they're fed up with it. And until the population starts pressuring their representatives, mm -hmm. uh, you're not going to see any kind of significant change. And I'm but not you're scared. That, exactly. You're, I don't think that that they're. I don't think it's I tell you soon. this, man. You know, a civil war requires multiple factions deciding that their ideology is correct. But when you have a passive faction and an active faction, I don't think you get civil war, you get revolution. The far left right now has just laid siege to a government facility with people from outside this country, and the media is, is protecting it. Even Fox News. Fox News should outright say terror attack. Mm -hmm. No question. When, when, the, when the Overton window has shifted to the point where you can get a band of people over several years shooting at cops, firebombing government facilities, and it's called agitators at a demonstration, then you've already normalized what they're doing to the point where you accept it. This, leg this, this lends credibility to, the, to what uh, Rusty Rockets was saying on Bill Maher's show, that uh, MSNBC, Fox News, they're all the same. Ah, he's wrong. You think he's wrong? He's absolutely wrong. You... I, Russell I really, Brand. I oh, really I called, think, I, Russell Brand's great, but I did correct him earlier on my uh, Tim Cast News YouTube channel. Yeah, if you look at the NewsGuard rating of MSNBC, it says proceed with caution, not credible. And Fox News is deemed generally credible. I don't hate that. Fox Fox News, like the okay, look, FoxNews.com, factual news reporting with a conservative tint. MSNBC, opinion conspiracy video garbage. Yeah. Fox News on cable TV mostly straightforward news all day until you get to Tucker Hannity and Laura Ingram. And then Tucker's actually pretty good, but a little snooty and snarky. People like him for it. MSNBC all day is conspiracy garbled nonsense. So Russell Brand goes on Bill Maher and says, You've, MSNBC is the same thing as Fox News. It's biased nonsense, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, he mentions, why won't they talk about Julian Assange and Snowden? And it's mm -hmm. like Tucker Carlson does. So Fox News is not in that camp. You've got the populists and you've got the cultists. And MSNBC is the cult conspiracy channel has been wrong basically about everything. 
Yeah, I think that there he was kind of extending an olive branch by saying, hey, both sides have issues, guys. But the truth is the liberal economic order is utilizing that media organization, whether it's MSNBC or CNN. I don't know how they are owned. They're owned by similar structures or whatever. I mean, he's always been anti-establishment. So I see why he's saying that. He's always been kind of against all that. But I feel like he's starting to kind of see the light a little bit more on the right more than he used to in the past. When I, when I went on Russell's show, the first time they invited me, I was kind of like, is it going to be an ambush? They think they're going to mm. like get me with something. But no, it was a good conversation. Russell's he's a smart dude. Yeah. I think he's, he's genuine. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, I, he, he, he had me on his show again recently. And I think he's fantastic. I just think there, there are many people who are, who are late to the party. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm glad they made it to the party at all. Hope they brought some pizza or wings or something, but don't come empty handed. Russell is bringing a horde of followers and people who believe in him and trust him. He's been a populist on the left for, for a long mm -hmm. time, calling, up the, calling out the machine. He's now seeing exactly how broken things are. He's calling it out as it needs to be. But I don't think he watches Fox News. I think he's still of that world where Fox is bad. But now he realizes MSNBC is bad. And so he's like, hey, wait a minute. That's exactly if you're on the left and you hear Fox News, Fox News, Fox News, this is what they do. Then you watch MSNBC, you go, hey, wait a minute, that's exactly what Fox News is doing. Ah, uh, it's exactly what they told you Fox News is doing. And what they used to do, they warmongered hard in 2008, 7-6 uh, for the Iraq, Afghanistan. I mean, that was mm -hmm. the, 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 the warmonger, uh, they called them neocons at the time. And it was like this, this, and there are still neocons. Yeah, this still like seizure <laughs> of the Republican <laughs> Party by the, the Cheney uh, dynasty and B George Bush Jr., and they're a huge war. I mean, and, and see, uh, Fox parroted that really, really. It, they were really disingenuous in those years. In Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at Timcast.com for uncensored members only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.